New at Asham. Load up and go with our redesigned curling broom bag on wheels. This bag's all-terrain heavy-duty wheels glide with ease. Its solid construction is durable and fits all your curling gear. Check out our website at asham.com. Thank you for joining us for this Manitoba Championship Draw, brought to you by Seagram's 83, Manitoba's number one whiskey. Eat. Meet. Stay. Canad Inn's destination centers are your home for hospitality, with 10 locations in Manitoba and one in North Dakota, featuring the finest in accommodations, food and beverage, entertainment, banquet and conference facilities, and so much more. For the best service and best value, your only stop is Canad Inn's. Call today at 1-888-33-CANAD or visit us right now at canadins.com. Today's sponsor, Sunrise Credit Union. Building a brighter future together. Where can you find handmade pizza, classic burgers, scrumptious salads, the finest Manitoba sourced fried chicken, and so, so, so much more? Chicken Chef, bring your appetite. We'll take care of the rest. Win a chance to cheer for Team Manitoba at the Briar, for the Jets against Seattle, for the Bombers against Montreal and support the Manitoba Curling Hall of Fame and Museum volunteers in their efforts to preserve Manitoba's curling history and celebrate the greats in Manitoba curling. Scan the QR code on your screen now for the complete prize and raffle details and to buy your tickets. Or go to fundingchange.ca slash mbcurlmuseum. At McMunn and Yates, we've always believed that good neighbors make for better communities. McMunn and Yates has everything you need for your next project right at your fingertips. And McMunnandYates.com will always be there, ready to help. Today's sponsor, Pharmasave, official pharmacy of Crow, Manitoba. Why not? Just watch. Why not? Keep scrolling, I slide. Why not? As a broadcaster and Hall of Fame football player, I'm constantly in the lab of life. For 15 years, my friends at Not Auto Corp have been pioneers as well. Introducing Winnipeg Car Lab. Custom car wraps, graphics, and auto services. Winnipeg, why not get in the lab? Curl Manitoba is proudly sponsored by Manitoba Pork. Good for me, good for Manitoba. Original 16. Celebrate things done well. At Pharmasave, we see you and we care for prescriptions for common conditions, expert health advice, or support for life's little mishaps. Come talk to your Pharmasave pharmacist. Live well with Pharmasave. RME, proud sponsor of Curl Manitoba and the Scotties Women's Provincials. With 10 locations in Manitoba, RME is your preferred Case IH equipment dealer. RME, right by you. If you grow up in a small town in this part of the world, you basically learn how to curl real young. The kids and you know, even adults, they didn't have a place to go and get so many facilities were, were closed. So people started gravitating to a rink and coming out and skating, curling. It became a place to come every weekend for so many families. We would see upwards of 70 people coming and going you know, on, on a given Saturday or Sunday. I think it means a huge amount to so many people. It's an opportunity for friends, family, everybody to get together, have some fun. At Viterra, we believe in the power of connection. Our world-leading agriculture network connects producers and consumers to supply top quality food ingredients each and every day. Our team takes great pride in working closely with farmers to help feed the world. It's something we've been doing for over 100 years. And as an industry leader, we're dedicated to playing a critical role in meeting the needs of a growing world. Because together, we're stronger and achieve more.
Good morning and welcome to the event center in Morden, Manitoba, the 2024 Scotty's Tournament of Hearts, presented by RME. You may be able to hear the sound of the pipes in the background. The teams for our semifinal game are just coming into the arena. We'll uh, have the team introductions and go from there with our game. So. And now, ladies and gentlemen, a privilege for me to introduce to you the competing teams in our 2024 Scotties semi-final game. From the Assiniboine Memorial Curling Club, Team Beth Peterson, welcome to Kelsey Rock, Catherine Dirksen, Melissa Gordon Kurz, their alternate Jenna Loader and Coach Kyle Kurz, Team Beth Peterson from Assiniboine Memorial. And from the Granite Curling Club, Team Cameron. Good morning to Megan Walter, Taylor McDonald, Mackenzie Elias, their alternate Mackenzie Zacharias, Team Kate Cameron from the Granite Curling Club. <laughs> Ladies, good luck and good curling. The games are in the hands of the officials. Teams will be on the ice momentarily with, through the opening introductions. Who has last rock, Norm? Yes, yep. I'm just going to wait for a second for the umpire to say what uh, she was going to say. Anyway, the, um, the um, draws to the button were with uh, Kate Cameron and Beth Peterson for their respective teams. Kate Cameron um, put it essentially right on the pinhole, probably an inch away. And Beth Peterson was uh, close to the top four foot, so advantage uh, Cameron. So the uh, determinations uh, were made, uh, uh, had the two teams had different records uh, through the round robin and championship round, they would have earned last rock without throwing the, the uh, last stone draw, but uh, the two teams ended six and two, so they did have to make the draw. Uh, Peterson had beaten Cameron in the uh, game between the two of them, so the Peterson team had the choice of which rocks they would throw and they made the life uh, real simple for the officials. They simply said, uh, we'll take the yellow rocks and we'll take the yellow rocks that were already on sheet B. So they were very happy with that set of yellow rocks they had used uh, earlier in the week. And uh, uh, the Cameron team uh, took the red stones, uh, six of the red stones that were here on sheet B. They did move two rocks from, uh, from sheet C. So uh, they must have identified in their game that there was an issue uh, or perceived issue uh, I think that's and they close. just they subbed out a couple of rocks that they were happier with from a different sheet. So Peterson Yellow with her first rock on the center line. Cameron, red stones will go right around. Well, Norm, we can see uh, from those first two rocks that the uh, that the ice is uh, virtually identical to what we've seen uh, through the week. Yes, and uh, those are two um, very good shots to start the game. And you can see with uh, Peterson getting that first one in front, they're intending to essentially uh, play a fairly intense first end. Right to the face of the redstone, a little bit of a bump to the button. Free 
I admire these competitors' abilities to uh, throw one rock and halfway between the house and the ho and uh, the hog line, and then come back uh, one shot later with uh, eight or ten feet more. And the precision with the assistance of the brushers is really something to behold. Comes up just short of the rings. And Peterson will go around from the other side, try to corner fees to the Cameron Stone in the in the forefoot on biting the button. Second, Catherine Dirksen. This one looks like it's curling pretty hard. Maybe just a little bit lighter than was uh, wanted. It's, uh, Doesn't rub the yellow, comes to that red, rolls. Second, Taylor okay. McDonald I just for the Cameron team. They make this and it's behind there, but okay, let's go top for them. I don't hate it. I still have She's got a lot of history with Chelsea two. Rock, the Peterson yeah. team third. McDonald played it's in Alberta four. with Rock, 2014 okay. Alberta Junior yeah. Champion like with Rock, World Junior Champion that year, World I University Champion in 2017 with Rock. Yeah. You are, it's buddy. her second Manitoba Scotties appearance. She was a three-time Scotties winner in Alberta with Laura Walker. We're going to go right around. Still? Yep. Can't be back button. you got to make a choice. We're back. I think this is going to be deep in the house if not through. Okay. It's fine, buddy. Three, two. Catherine Dirksen is playing in her seventh Manitoba Scotties. Five provincial junior appearances. She was a junior finalist in 2013. Whoa. Played in her first junior Whoa. provincial in 2011. So Catherine Dirksen is the second for the Peterson right. team. She'll try to yeah, yeah, yeah. run through. That's good. Yeah. Both reds okay. leave the yeah. rings. Call this a, an aggressive call from Kate Cameron to come around the guards instead of uh, hitting the yellow one that's uh, essentially wide open. It's really the corner guards, really not the way to the path. I like that. They are attacking, attacking right from the outside. Megan Walters, the third, of course, a world mixed champion. Fourth provincial Scotties, finalist a year ago with Abby Ackland. Robson sits open, the opportunity for Peterson now to hit and roll in behind. Cameron does have last rock, so Peterson works towards, if nothing else, forcing Cameron to take a single with that last rock here in the opening end. Not quite the role she wanted. We won't be shot, but I still think we probably do that. Yeah. It's it's not so simple. There's a lot of space in there. You could rip this way and catch one. Okay. Don't hate that if you want. Sure. Try to grab that. Okay.
So Megan Walter convincing Cameron to play a little different shot. Try to get that top guard off and maybe move one out of the rings. Pushes it straight through. Peterson will go around. Yeah. Um, yeah, I missed it. It's a couple inches more than Cat. Okay. Should be similar to practice. Kelsey Rock, her Close second game line. shot of the game. Okay, line's okay. Line's fine. Top four. Top four. We don't leave. Whoa, then. Whoa. Close, Phil. Yeah, close. Okay. Yep. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're good for line. Just fight. Just fight the four. Fight the four. Fight the four. Good judge. Nice shot, Kel. Into the four foot. Cameron is going to have to move some okay. yellow. Side's pretty straight, Meg. It was great judging on the line call there by Beth Peterson. Yep. Oh, yes! Megan Walter's second stone of the end. Looking to rip a couple of yellows out of the rings. Does not get the contact on that rock in the forefoot. She might make this, but it's only for one. Yeah. Okay. That's my kit. You got it. I'm also through here. So. Yeah. And Beth Peterson, I think it's, uh, she's not coming right in. She's going to okay. be okay. trying to come close to the house. It will yeah. leave the angle raise for Cameron. Hang it on the side of center. Split center. Peterson is part of this year's Canadian mixed final team, finalist team, playing with coach Kyle Kurz. Twice Manitoba mixed champion. Okay, line's good. Her sixth appearance at the Manitoba Girl, Scotties. Yes, it's no, line's fine, too. Always cat, though. Line's good. Stay down, cat. Line's fine. It's got to sit. And a provincial junior That's champion right, back in 2015. Really Looks like she's going to have that guard where she wants it, just up to the center line, not crossing it. Good. Yeah. You don't think you could make that? If I miss the one, she sinks one. I can't. I'm then you just draw up two. No, you draw the two line. Okay. I just think it might be a better chance. You make it, she has to put the perfect guard back. If she doesn't, I don't think then she puts the perfect guard back. I think she half tucks. Why if you make the double peel? Oh, yeah, but I'm saying if I rip the top one, which is the miss, right? Yeah. That she sinks another one right here, and I'm drawing here against two. Okay. Okay. Right here. <clears throat> so you heard the commentary the by uh, between Walters and. And Kate trying to decide whether they come around with a soft uh, tap back shot, which is with the amount of curl in the ice in that spot is makeable, or try and keep the front open and leave your options for making and for having an easier last shot should you happen to not be precise on the first one. Looking for the double peel on the yep. two guards. Well, not the peel, but she does move the guard off the center line. Yeah. Fine. Yeah. Yeah, by D8. Even physical 12. Yeah. Okay. So I had you there. Okay. That's I think probably that's close. I, I think, think that's for, close. Yeah. You got it. Peterson lying too. Okay, I think we Christmas. Put one this. on the center line. Maybe if, if comes a little short, deep, half tucked in behind that yellow guard. Yeah, it'll be just more than full 12 to be third. 
Okay. Wait for line. Yeah, I think they're taking ice here that'll get it very close to the center line. Not sure that it'll actually tuck unless it comes in in the top eight foot. Final stone of this opening end for Beth Peterson. Okay, line's close. Where? Okay, all Stay down the list. Line's good, room. And as we've noted before, from the outside end of that Curl Manitoba logo is where the curl begins. Use the draw to the to the white to the uh, to the button basically, but you got to just uh, make sure you can manage the uh, direction of the rock coming down the ice because it curls so much after from the hog line in. So the call is the draw to the edge of the button. Certainly, if she gets. What are you Bite of four foot four curls five, up five, even five. to the rock in the four foot and okay. gives up a steal of one. That's one. not a bad result okay. when you're throwing your That's last easy. first rock, first last stone of the game, facing three. Yeah, so anything that keeps uh, Peterson down to one, I think, will be a, a slight okay. victory for the camera team in this end. Go. So that draw okay. is underway. Needs the weight to get there. Where are you? Strong sweep. Easy line. Take a look. Curling in Got now. Got to touch four. Got to touch four. Hi, buddy. Got to touch four. Hi. There. Good. There. Good. And does hit the forefoot, but gives up the steal of a single point. Uh, success for Cameron in cutting that rock. Steal down to one. Success for Peterson, obviously, in taking a steal on the opening end to lead 1-0 after the first end of our semifinal game from the Scotties in Morden. We'll be back with end number two in a moment. We hope you're enjoying this Manitoba Championship Sunrise Morning Draw, brought to you by Sunrise Credit Union, building a brighter future together. New at Asham, the Shore Glide Delivery Aid. Precision, stability, and style all in one. Available with or without Broom Caddy. With its durable design, it's built to last season after season. Check out our website at asham.com. Why not? Just watch. Why not? Keep scrolling eyes lie. Why not? As a broadcaster and Hall of Fame football player, I'm constantly in the lab of life. For 15 years, my friends at Not Auto Corp have been pioneers as well. Why not? Introducing Winnipeg Car Lab. Custom car wraps, graphics, and auto Why services. Not? Winnipeg, why not get in the lab? RME, proud sponsor of Curl Manitoba and the Scotties Women's Provincials. With 10 locations in Manitoba, RME is your preferred Case IH equipment dealer. RME, right by you. Back in the Access Event Center in Morden. Second end of our semifinal game. Beth Peterson and her team from Assiniboine Memorial have stolen a single point on the opening end. Placed the center line guard again here in the second end. Uh, this time, Kate Cameron decides to play the corner guard rather than going around as she did in the first end. Leads Mackenzie Elias, third Scotty's appearance. Of course, she played in the final a year ago with Abby Ackland and Megan Walter. Melissa Gordon Kurz is the lead for the Beth Peterson team. Mike Peterson, a member of this year's Manitoba mixed, Canadian mixed finalist team, Manitoba mixed champion. Good shot. Good. Good judge. 
Perfectly behind the long guard. Does make contact with that guard on the center line, but doesn't move it off the center line, so uh, it stays there. So far, Norm, we're seeing a higher degree of precision from the Peterson team than the Cameron team. Top eight. Yeah, that's that's correct. Catherine Dirksen. Looks a little further out, but uh, yesterday it seemed the further you went out, the more it actually swung at the, in terms of the amount it came in. But this might be a tiny bit heavier than they want. Going to take it past the back, back four foot. just fly off but if we can kiss this to here it's also quite good okay so this Nine. is the sixth shot of the end that okay. they can start on, to remove guards nice and sharp and so they want to get things opened up and make their um, the rest of the end just a little more e easy for them hoping to clear the two guards up the center but leave a pair of corner guards And has done exactly that. Center line now clear. Two corners. Two. Yeah. You got it. And with two rocks in the forefoot, Beth Peterson will try to repeat that center line guard. It's starting off in a slightly wider line, but I'm pretty sure it's less weight. Three. No, So it looks like it'll get to the center yep. line. Yep, 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 a yep. little more, a little more. You're good. Yep, 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 yep. Good, good spot, good. Well placed right up the center line. Slightly more than halfway to the rings. Okay, I think you kind of ought to just roll here not to lose your guards, even if you just do this. Same weight. Okay. You got her. Same stuff. Taylor McDonald. Final second stone of the end. She is going to get right to the nose of this yellow rock, run it straight through. Good. Good. Rolls everything out of the forefoot, but puts that yellow stone in behind the corner guards. So that wasn't exactly the plan A, but it uh, definitely was effective. Opens up the forefoot for the rest of the end. The guard on the center line now being a red Cameron stone, Kelsey Rockwell. Try to go around it to the top of the forefoot. Good spot. Good judge. 
And again, biting four foot dead behind the center guard. Pretty much just get to the line. Firm? Yeah. <laughs> Straight. Attempt to run it straight through. Needed to curl up just a little bit more, and now Peterson will replace that center guard again. To look at this, it would appear that the intern would be an easier way to get the guard, but they've uh, thrown all out turns so far, so they definitely know the ice in, in this uh, spot. And it has to come across the, one. Early the, early. Um, the rather red guard that's there and get to the center line. Easy. Line's okay. It looks Easy. like it's uh, no on curl. the right line no, at this doesn't point. Need to curl. Doesn't need to curl. Does not need to curl. Just got to sit. Good shot. No, it's good. And that center guard is replaced. I mean, it looks here from, or it looks there from here. I, I agree with you, but it's more than a broom. Do you want to play control? Do you hit the yellow? Yeah. I'd rather hit the yellow than the red. There's definitely a hole Ten. there. This, this area of the ice has been a, just a little bit tricky all week, so any uh, precision shot right here is a really a high-level shot. But, uh, secondary objectives is certainly to Easy. move the, uh, the yellow guard. No! So it's Megan Walters' final it's stone of the good. game. It's looking pretty good. No! No! And it all, yeah, just needed just to grow. rubbed on her red guard. So, so little, so, uh, so close to being perfect. It only moved the red guard, and what, maybe yeah. three inches at the very yeah, most, not even that. Yeah, this. I think it's right there. Yep. So Peterson now. We'll try to put a guard, oh, high guard further out, high guard as she says, just over the hog line, but filling that hole so the, the hit can't be made through that port. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Very fast. Yeah, as long as she uh, puts it anywhere that uh, cuts off an inch or two of that uh, opening that's there, she should be fine. This is pretty well the same ice they've been playing. Beth Peterson's first rock of the second. Whoa, then. Whoa, then. Whoa, we're just going here. Yeah. Mel Melissa's rock, always Melissa's Melissa. Melissa's rock, always. Always Melissa, never curl. Okay, yep. Um, yeah, yep. got something here. Yep. Ah, sorry. That's good. Good speed. Right to the yellow, but there is no hole there now. Yeah. Might clip the underside and watch this though. It might come right on. <coughs> is that going into the rings? Probably. Probably. Right, but I think it's all we got right now. Yeah. Well, I'm just wondering if it's smarter to go this way then. I saw the in. Yeah. I, was I think the it outside. might go under. Kate Cameron is always looking at the uh, mm -hmm. other so alternatives that might happen once you make contact with a rock. And, push it, if you have force, it's going and she's uh, looking right here at uh, some the way. possibility of some jams, even though these yellows will be removed from their current position. What might they jam on and where would those rocks end up? Just try to move them around. Hair last Meg. And my guess is uh, Kate will be throwing her favorite seven and a half second hit here. Cameron intern hit up the center line. Yep, nope, nope. Yep. Yes. Needs to move the second yellow stone. Does exactly that, pushes the yellow straight through. All those guards gone. Good. Yeah, just bite. Yeah. Same line? Yep, I'll just throw it better. You got it. 
And once again, Beth Peterson's in position with her second stone to put one in the top of the 12 foot circle to lie three. Okay, I'll just throw it a little better. Forcing Cameron to draw for a single. Yeah, try and bite it. Light's fine. I think they'd like to be in the top 12 foot on this shot. Okay, a little more room. Yeah, let's go a little further out yeah, than the previous one. Yeah, top 12, easy, Melissa. So top 12, should easy, still curl easy, line. Easy, line. Oh, easy. Where are you? Well, okay, yeah, then curl. Line's good. Line's good. Hard curl, hard curl. Line Sweet straight. curl, get it, it to the center line. I'd like to touch. For, uh, 12 foot, do not do so, but do have that perfect guard up the center. So line two, Cameron is going to have to draw out of the four foot again. It's a hair wider, but it looks time like doesn't have to be to the button to score, she just has to be full four foot. But full four, put it on the T line, and I think you got a good chance. Okay, same as that way, hey? Final stone of the second. Cameron facing two. Appears to be just outside the curl. Is it going to snap over at the end? No, the question is now will it go deep enough to give up a steal of two? And it may have done. They may have to bring out the measuring stick on this. For certain, Peterson has stole a sing stolen a single. One. Close scrutiny on whether those two, the edge of the eight foot, uh, which one's counting. We'll measure them just in case, yeah. Get in, guys. What was up? That was, uh, I think, the first out turn yeah, draw no, by the Peterson team on close. that. Uh, that area of the ice and I shouldn't say Peterson by Cameron team. Peterson teams have been playing the out turn consistently so they just have a slightly better idea of what draw weight would be. Uh, Cameron was obviously close but not uh, it just ran on a straight line with that little extra weight. That's what I notice about this ice. You throw four or five feet more weight the line is quite a bit different. Richard Hawkins is our official doing the measure. So it is red. A steal of one more for the yellow. So two ends in a row. Cameron is forced to draw facing multiple Peterson stones. Two ends in a row. She gives up a steal of one. It is two nothing Peterson. After two, we'll be back with end number three from Morden in just a moment. Today's sponsor, PharmaSave, official pharmacy of Curl, Manitoba. At Viterra, we believe in the power of connection. Our world-leading agriculture network connects producers and consumers to supply top quality food ingredients each and every day. Our team takes great pride in working closely with farmers to help feed the world. It's something we've been doing for over 100 years. And as an industry leader, we're dedicated to playing a critical role in meeting the needs of a growing world. Because together, we're stronger and achieve more. Thank you for joining us for this Manitoba Championship Draw, brought to you by Seagram's 83, Manitoba's number one whiskey. Where can you find handmade pizza, classic burgers, scrumptious salads, the finest Manitoba sourced fried chicken, and so, so, so much more. Chicken Chef, bring your appetite. We'll take care of the rest. Twice a high center guard has 
for the Peterson team has turned into a steal of one. Beth Peterson and her team lead Kate Cameron to nothing after two ends. Uh, this time the first rock of the end, not the center guard, but right in onto the button. Kate Cameron with her first stone. Us, her lead, Mackenzie Elias, to place a corner guard. Sliding just to the RME logo and a little deeper. Nice and tight. Yeah. You got it. You okay now that Peterson again? will ask for a tight Who's center okay? guard. Just crosses the center. Let's, let's move it. Twelve and a twelve? Sure. Okay. I think you'll get some curl here. Yeah, you got it. The call is to move that Yellowstone off the button roll to the right under the guard, the corner guard. Catherine Dirksen, she'd like to hit and roll Ten? No, fully no, no, no. buried under the uh, yellow rock Morris, just Morris, off Morris. center. You gotta go. Hard, Melissa. Really gotta go. Hard, you gotta go. You got it, you got it. Go, 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 go. Okay. 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 She'll, in fact, get okay, a little it. bit of roll the other way. Nine no, six. almost dead nose hit. There wasn't much room to get by that red guard, so they were a little bit concerned, and then it like certainly did uh, start its curl okay. at the usual curl okay. Manitoba okay. logo okay. sign. You got her. Like you can. And for this uh, half of the sheet that they're playing, most of these shots on coming this way, Eleven. I've got a very good vantage point to Eleven. see the rocks coming Eleven. down the ice. Taylor McDonald just going to get past that red guard. Will hit and roll right out of the rings. Both stones gone. Otherwise, everything is good. Yeah, I like that. Peterson now will go to the wide out turn, I think it'll go be around okay that now. center. Like we, yeah, we threw a couple. This is the Kate Cameron path from the last shot of the first end. Top eight. Stay close, Melissa. Hard line. Hard line. Gonna have to really work to get this one by. Oh, it's looking good at this point. Just touches it. Still half berries behind the center guard. Kate Cameron will ignore it and go behind her own corner guard. I think like a 5-5. Five, five. You got her, bud. I really like that. Back eight. Never needs to curl. Line back eight. 
It's going to slide Four, back eight. Good. In fact, we'll nice. slide back to Four, three. just yes. about bite out to the 12. Red still shot stone. You want to give this a go? Yeah, we can. Yeah, if we feel it's... <coughs> Peel off the red corner. Maybe run it straight through. If she runs it through, it'll get a little bit rolled to the center line. Makes contact back there. Leaves it full in the 12 foot okay, putt. Shot. Second shot, shot now. I think we're trying to do that. Okay. Can't throw a ton to roll on. Even if you just roll to the corner though, Meg, that's pretty good. Yeah. Um, 11? Okay. Intern hit now for Megan Walker. Clear that yep. top yellow stone, drive it through, and catch the edge of the one in the eight Curl. foot. Curl. Like it's gonna, if it hits, it's uh, fairly thin. Sit. It might roll right out. Sit. 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 Come back. Good <laughs> no, it, it spun Great. back in. So with a pair of reds now in the periphery, one biting the edge on the tee line, one in full 12 foot at the yeah. back. Okay. Peterson wants to hit and roll in. And playing on that last Cameron shot, playing the weight they did, uh, opened up the front and put a rock in the house for them. Sometimes we get carried away and think we need to throw big weight at every yep. shot. Yep. Does roll right onto the eight foot circle. So the call for Megan Walters to kill the shot stone in the top of the eight foot and roll in behind that yellow corner guard. Good shot. Just a little bit tucked under. Playing that red stone, which is now shot rock. There's the risk of jamming it back onto her own yellow in the corner on the yes, foot the, just behind the tee line. Yeah, if you go after it, there's a pretty high risk of, of uh, jamming onto the yellow. So one option has come with the intern draw. Uh, another is simply to take like? the back red one out and keep uh, the, the possibility of uh, Cameron scoring it's more than two. two. Keep that down to, to oh, a maximum of two. Yeah, if she ever just does this, the one, I guess I just pick it. Then you just pick oh, it. Okay, just nose. Yep. Ten five? Yep. You got it. Peterson will play the hit on the open Sorry? red stone in the back. Oh, yeah, foot. I agree. I, th I thought it was easier to just try and hack it. I know it looked like jam, but I didn't like the run anyway. So, yeah, let's make it. <clears throat> Gonna make Good. contact. Good Not gonna stick. Nine, nine. Does stick. I thought she'd got a little wide on that one. Do it even. I hate hitting and rolling. Right. Do it here. 
If she ever makes the roll, I have the double for two as well. But if we're right back to it, she can't really roll. I guess if she noses it, we're in shit. Right? Mm -hmm. What do you like? What's your gut? I was seeing the hit, but yeah. just to secure our two, yeah. So then I think we want to go. Yeah. I think we have the whole house to roll to. Okay. Okay. Let's do it. Um, I think a 10 5 out here. Do you like that? I like that. So after looking at all the options. The freeze is good, but if she right beat yeah. us, we're forced to, because then, then it would be shot, right? Yeah. So. Uh, okay. I think we actually would like to roll kind of dead behind our red, and then there'd be no double, right? I think like edge button, Tay. Even if you showed a quarter on the inside, like on your side, I don't think it's bad. But make her make something. If I knows it, she plays the slash and we blank anyways. 10-5. I don't think it'll do much. So Kate just gave a really good commentary at uh, rear front end and what she's trying to do and what the various options, depending on how contact is made with this yellow rock. Easy! No! Tens! Cameron's first stone here in the third. Red stone's line two. Now Peterson will try to hit and roll behind. Ten five. Ten five. Yeah. They're all dead behind that red rock in the top of the eight foot circle is uh, the perfect shot because it doesn't allow a straight back run. Any kind of angle clean. would clean. allow Cameron clean. to play yep. a hit Whoa. and roll. Close. Whoa, clean. Yep. Yep. Yes. 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 It, it, as long as, like, if I touch it, we, we get the two, right? I think there. With an elect. Almost all? Okay. Okay, then let's play the 11 5 this way. 12? Do you yeah, like 12? I like 12. Right there. You got her, bud. So Kate had seen from the outset that she would be playing the red onto yellow, and uh, Megan suggested they look at coming around to the yellow shot rock past the guard. Three quarters? Okay. Her front end let her know that that Steve was ahead. almost wide open. It much, but it will finish up the end. I was a 10-4. Yeah, the rock will definitely curl up with weight that they throw it, so doesn't have too much to worry about that. Okay, Cameron, second shot, last shot here in the third end, a shot for two to tie the game. Took an extra inch or so of the broom, but looks pretty good. Looks, looks real good. <laughs> we're fine, we're fine. So it is the hit for two after two steals uh, to open the game. Two nothing lead. Kate Cameron now scores a couple to tie the game at two all after three. We'll be back with the fourth end for moment from Morton in a moment. Original 16. Celebrate things done well. At McMunn and Yates, we've always believed that good neighbors make for better communities. McMunn and Yates has everything you need for your next project right at your fingertips. And McMunnandYates.com will always be there, ready to help. Curl Manitoba is proudly sponsored by Manitoba Pork. Good for me, good for Manitoba. Eat meat. Stay! Play! Canad Inn's destination centers are your home for hospitality, with 10 locations in Manitoba and one in North Dakota, featuring the finest in accommodations, 
food and beverage, entertainment, banquet and conference facilities, and so much more. For the best service and best value, your only stop is Canad Inns. Call today at one 33 can add or visit us right now at canadins.com. Welcome back to the Access Event Center in Morden, the 2024 Manitoba Scotties Tournament of Hearts presented by RME. Cameron having scored a pair, first rock of the end goes into the forefoot. Corner guard call by Peterson. Melissa Gordon Kurz is the lead. Two, 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 two and a half. Yeah, yeah three. Whoa, then. This is sliding nice. Three. To your broom. That's good. It's curling like it's nice. To your broom. Yeah, I think you can go a bit. Okay. Okay. Good, Melissa. Good throw. Nice. That's good. A reversal of roles here. Uh, this same opening strategy turned into a two for Cameron in the second end. It does look as if they did get it to the line. He got it. Peterson will go around it to the red rock in the top of the forefoot. And the Peterson team certainly knows this out turn. Room right now. Top four. Top four. Room on this line. Room. No bounce on this line. Okay. Top four. Line. Yes. Still no bounce. Right to it. Still to rock now. No bounce, the line's great. Line's good, right on it. Keep it there, Kels. Yep. Hard, right to it. Right to it, make sure you're there. Hard, 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 hard. Good shot, Mon. Nice. Perfect. This is just full eight. Top 12's fine. I like this way still. I like he can. But Yellowstone did cross just a little bit across the nose of the red rock in the forefoot, so the angle is better from this side to get onto the nose of it. sixth end of the rock they'll clean up the front and try and make sure there's access to those on the forefront. Oh. Whoa. Yep. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's close. Close. If it does go straight yep. through yep. Whoa. Whoa. I think Peterson sees all three red rocks leaving the rings. Didn't get quite enough contact to lose the red rock in the back of the button. Okay, same just way. Just try to freeze. Okay. I think we have to go this way. I don't think we you do. You can get to nose, we can tap it a hair if we need, okay. but nose or a hair low. I think this is going to slide. You got her. What was that last She didn't say. Okay. Yeah. Close. Top four. Taylor McDonald. Easy again. Top. Yep. Yep. Yeah, her second stone here in this fourth end.
guards and guards the three of it. Yeah. It's not in. You can make this now or you can make this. What do you like? Yeah. You can make this and roll in. Yeah, I like that. Okay. I think because if we play that um, top, we'll be behind T and roll still in Still throw peel this turn. Okay. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> so again, she'll try to clear the two center guards. No, 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 no. no. I think she's only going to remove okay. the yellow. At, uh, okay. That's fine. I am dead. <laughs> Did you all? Like 15, I think. Oh, yeah. yeah. This is a little more. I thought Ty drew that good. Yeah. Sometimes she'll try to be into the top of the rings, a little bit cornered behind that red one just outside the rings. Okay, maybe just guard this. Line's not great. Okay. Okay, go, Ken. Go, 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 go. Line's go. really good. Hard, line's great. Go, go, lock it on. Go, 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 go. That's okay, I hear you. Okay, good. 16. And again, the call like to remove the two off the center yeah, line. Yeah, seven eighths. What, what kind of weight? Feel. Oh, okay. That's the intern, right? Okay. <laughs> yep, 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 gotta go. Really gotta go. Just a little bit high side of this will remove the two red rocks. Yep. Doesn't get where she wants to be, but does roll for a biter. Yes, yes. I, I don't mind this. It's just okay. you can't guard both. We could just guard this one for one and, and let them try that, something there. Sure. Do we want it tight then? I think brim length to tight. Cameron anticipating that Peterson's Line's next call is to go around to the red rock in the back of the forefoot. Keep it out. Wants to cover that. Keep it out. Easy. It's over curling. It's over curling. Sit. Sit. Stays on the Sit. side of the line. We're okay. Sit. Okay. Good. 16. Good. So the redstone with back forefoot is now. Or you can just rip it. Half I think exposed. We want to try and hang. Yeah, I think so. Here? Yeah, yeah, that I last guard like really half, didn't uh, really get in any part of the path to the red rock yeah. that's at the back of the four. Bump, whatever you I see. think bump. Okay. Kelsey Rock's um, throw is just underway. Yep. They're playing it fairly yep. quiet, but I might have thought they would have played right. it even quieter. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. It's going to be close. Yep. 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 Once it starts to curl on this spot, it goes. She will make the contact and roll. Very nice, very nice shot. <laughs> Probably rolled a little too far, did. It's, uh, yellow lies mm -hmm. only one. Yeah. If we corner it, she's probably getting two, eh? Mm hmm. Do we try? I think so. Okay. Even if you slip back, but it will really work in there. Yeah. You got it. So, like, back button. Right? Yep. 
can corner yeah. it, but we're giving him a cheap deuce. So I think can try to just go around it, back button. If I'm light, we go beside it kind of thing. Okay. Even if I'm literally right beside it, they have to roll and they might leave me something back. Draw to the button still, 15. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it looks like it. First stone of the end for Kate Cameron. Put your draw to the back of the button, thinking that the curl will take her almost directly behind that line of rocks. Back button. Yep. 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 Yes! Well, yep. Yes! Set. Just that. Shot rock. Almost fully buried. Yeah. Well, there's not a lot of room to come back uh, to it and move it, but uh, I think she has to essentially well, just play the draw to the button, I would say. Tap it in line two. Yeah, I like, like, yeah, tea line out of your hand even, yeah. and they sweep it. That put the bricks on, hey? Hers yeah, did? hers did. That was 14-4. Yeah. You got it. Okay, you just gotta tap it a few inches to be sitting too, so I think we do that. If you stop top button, that's okay. Just like kind of throw T there, and then you guys can sweep it. A little heavier on the side. Now Peterson's first shot of the end, she wants to follow that Cameron Stone. Curl to the face of it if she can, tap it back a little bit, but recognizing that Cameron does have the next shot, can follow it again. Touched her own, but still got to. Okay, walk it on. Yep. Same ice. I sure had a lot of movement from that uh, from the hog line in on that. Did move it back to lie two, but walk rolled a little bit open, and Hurst Cameron does have, have the opportunity too, with so the same precision draw to be yep. we have to tap on it. that but shot stone, for line. almost to the nose of it. Like a four eight. For the third yeah. time in four ends, Kate Both Cameron lines. is drawing no with her last no. stone facing multiple Close. yellow stones. And she does yeah. make that perfect shot to lie one. But a foot or more of separation. Peterson like should be able to pick it out. Okay, you got it. Score a couple. At this stage in the game, this is a, a critical, critical shot. Yeah. Very uh, critical opportunity to get the two and take control of the game. But there's, uh, there's not a lot of room for getting by those top guards and. Final stone of the end for Beth Peterson. Yeah. The hit, she looks try to hit from pick this red rock yeah. off the button. Jam it out between two of her own. Does that, moves her own, but does score the pair. That was a good shot. Uh, she threw a, a lot of weight and it, it really never moved down the ice. So. 
Under the circumstances, it's some critical time in the game. That was an excellent performance by Peterson. 4-2 Peterson over Cameron. After four, we'll be back with the fifth end here in Morden in a moment. We hope you're enjoying this Manitoba Championship Sunrise Morning Draw, brought to you by Sunrise Credit Union, building a brighter future together. If you grow up in a small town in this part of the world, you basically learn how to curl real young. Kids and you know, even adults who didn't have a place to go and get so many facilities were, were closed. So people started gravitating to a rink and coming out and skating, curling. It became a place to come every weekend for so many families. You would see upwards of 70 people coming and going you know, on, on a given Saturday or Sunday. I think it means a huge amount to so many people. It's an opportunity for friends, family, everybody to get together, have some fun. At PharmaSave, we see you and we care for prescriptions for common conditions, expert health advice, or support for life's little mishaps. Come talk to your PharmaSave pharmacist. Live well with PharmaSave. New at Asham, the Helix Flyknit and Express Ultralight, featuring our rotator disc system that attaches by Velcro. Quickly and easily upgrade and replace your sliding platform. Check out our website at asham.com. Four two, Beth Peterson over Kate Cameron. A pair of steals to open the game for Peterson. Cameron scored a pair on the third. Peterson just now with a big weight hit to pick a rock off the button. Score two to take the 4-2 lead after four ends. And once again, the first Peterson stone goes right into the forefoot and Cameron's first stone is a tight corner guard. As I said at the start of the previous end, this exact strategy turned into a two. It happens, has happened now, this strategy has turned into a two for the team that didn't go to the forefoot. Maybe top 12. Yeah, it's holding like a teddy. Really sliding. Mine's great. Peterson's rock will slide That's just into okay. the rings. Right up the center line, Cameron will hit and roll behind her corner guard. 11. You got her. from, you heard Kate Cameron say, we're not on it, to just enough curl to get it to stay on the corner of the 12-foot circle, the edge on the tee line, and Peterson will play to remove that. Facing a couple of yellow stones, Cameron's choice is to go behind her corner guard. Cameron McDonald's second stone of the end. easy for Beth Peterson to uh, either come up to it and 
Well, she's going to look at being more defensive. It's hard to peel it anyways. You might as well try. No? Yeah. Yeah, our rocks are kind of in awkward spots. You got it. Very nice and straight. Shade low. So you heard the Beth Peterson comment. If we're going to peel it, we might as well try to run it straight through. If she can hit the center line side of the red and run it through, she'll roll to the center line and uh, still remove a couple no. of reds. No, 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 no. This um, is going to be I don't know. on the outside, may jam back uh, yep, on the yep, one yep, in the well, center. Hard. Exactly. Not even. Yeah, that was the risk in that shot because it didn't matter which yeah, way the uh, yeah. which side of the rock lay that there was a possibility of jam. So T line, this is literally just touching T. Okay. So Cameron will go to the open side of the rings. I like that. I really do. T line. T line. Or T. Line's great. We're even. Okay, line will be great. If ever Meg can push it. On its own. Back to you. Okay. Back to you. It looks like it's really going. It could go straight. 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 You gotta be at least full 12. You gotta go. Go, 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 go. We got three rocks well spread out in the house. Playing the flash and roll. There's possibilities for a double. Even the rolls, fine, make the double. Double kill if possible. Certainly hit and roll to the center line is key here to yep, get. Yep, yep. Action yes, back into the center of the rings yes, to maybe yes, be able to remove a couple of stones yes, later. Yes, yes, yes. Just needed to make slightly less contact on that yeah, target it, rock. Yeah, yeah, Probably a quarter inch less, and she definitely makes uh, removes that other red one. The one that she just just ticked. I love that. <laughs> okay, a little more line than take. T line. Top four. Here it goes. Going now, really going. Okay. We can actually push if you need. Line's great. Line's right perfect, you guys. Right at me. On six rock to be at the Arnie, T line. Go! Go, 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 no double. Go, 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 go. You can sneak it under. Okay. It's that or we're playing the slash one. Oh, like, that looks hard. <laughs> like half rock on the middle one. Yeah. I think this, Kels, because even if you do this, it's pretty good. We gotta yeah, group. I agree. We gotta group something. Yeah. I think so. Do you wanna just play the hit and roll big? Yeah, it's one or the other for sure. They're two different shots. Yeah, very. It's there. It's thin. Whatever you like. Yeah, as long as like we can air to be thicker and then at least we're grouping. I agree. Yeah. Okay, feel the same. Two different possibilities. One is the double kill, one is the hit and roll to the center line to group them. Yep, yep, yep. Whoa. Both the same shot, just Whoa. a degree of how much Whoa. you hit that Whoa. target by. Whoa. 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 Oh, that's, that was so that's close to getting by possible. to get that. One just over the top, one just uh, to the back of that one that's on the forefoot. A little bit of misfortune allowed. Hair tighter line. Earlier, earlier. Where are you? 
No, 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 no. Dig, buddy, go! Not sure this is getting to the to the rings. Well, that's an untimely error on the on the Cameron part, and Megan Walter is usually dead on in her draw shots, and so it's a bit of a surprise. That's the Peterson t Peterson team off the hook for sure. They uh, do have the chance of the double kill yeah. here. They make it, they'll roll out of the rings. Yeah, I would say the best uh, outcome here would actually be a, a hit and a little roll to the to your side of the to the left hand side of the sheet as we see the sheet. Well, yep. It's the angle, but just jams it, uh, again allowing Cameron to make the draw to the open side, now with a little bit of cover over there. Yeah. The Walter Stone that was left it. short Which of the rings. Never a double, but I don't want to play this too cute. Uh, I think T-line's probably a natural double, so I think top eight. I'm giving just center line. I think you can still get around this guard because we were over those. At least half under the guard. That's what it looks like, 15. Aaron looks to put a second counter in the rings. say it's going to sit deep in the rings. It is going to good. sit. That's fine, good. Leaving no double kill. Is that a 4 3? Yeah, those are certainly spread out, so no, no thought. No thought to trying to double. There is no such opportunity there. Yeah. Just the nose. But if it's. Uh, Nose hit, she can actually get a roll in either direction of a few inches, and that forces Cameron to, to make the hit herself. Come up here. Little big. Peterson's final stone here in the fifth underway. Enough to be a problem. Red by second shot. Cameron will have a shot for two. Ten five. No one's thrown a lot in this wide, so I don't want to do it now. Can't really roll away, but yeah, looks like it. Final stone here in the fifth end. Take Taylor for anything. Take for Taylor is an indication that rock needs to curl up to get to the nose of this yellow stone. But she is going to hit and roll away. Lost opportunity, a single point for Kate Cameron and Peterson leads Cameron. 4-3 after five. We'll be back after the fifth end break. New at Asham, load up and go with our redesigned curling broom bag on wheels. This bag's all-terrain heavy-duty wheels glide with ease. Its solid construction is durable and fits all your curling gear. Check out our website at asham.com. Thank you for joining us for this Manitoba Championship Draw, brought to you by Seagram's 83. 
Manitoba's number one whiskey. Eat. Meet. Stay. Canad Inn's destination centers are your home for hospitality, with 10 locations in Manitoba and one in North Dakota, featuring the finest in accommodations, food and beverage, entertainment, banquet and conference facilities, and so much more. For the best service and best value, your only stop is Canad Inn's. Call today at 1-888-33-CANAD or visit us right now at canadins.com. Today's sponsor, Sunrise Credit Union. Building a brighter future together. Where can you find handmade pizza, classic burgers, scrumptious salads, the finest Manitoba sourced fried chicken, and so, and so, so much more. Chicken Chef, bring your appetite. We'll take care of the rest. Win a chance to cheer for Team Manitoba at the Briar, for the Jets against Seattle, for the Bombers against Montreal and support the Manitoba Curling Hall of Fame and Museum volunteers in their efforts to preserve Manitoba's curling history and celebrate the greats in Manitoba curling. Scan the QR code on your screen now for the complete prize and raffle details and to buy your tickets. Or go to fundingchange.ca slash mbcurlmuseum. At McMunn and Yates, we've always believed that good neighbors make for better communities. McMunn and Yates has everything you need for your next project right at your fingertips. And McMunnandYates.com will always be there, ready to help. Today's sponsor, PharmaSave, official pharmacy of Crow, Manitoba. Why not? Just watch, why not? Keep scrolling, I slide, why not? As a broadcaster and Hall of Fame football player, I'm constantly in the lab of life. For 15 years, my friends at Not Auto Corp have been pioneers as well. Why not? Introducing Winnipeg Car Lab, custom car wraps, graphics, and auto why services. Not? Winnipeg, why not get in the lab? Curl Manitoba is proudly sponsored by Manitoba Pork. Good for me, good for Manitoba. Original 16. Celebrate things done well. At PharmaSave, we see you and we care for prescriptions for common conditions, expert health advice, or support for life's little mishaps. Come talk to your PharmaSave pharmacist. Live well with PharmaSave. RME, proud sponsor of Curl Manitoba and the Scotties Women's Provincials with 10 locations in Manitoba. RME is your preferred Case IH equipment dealer. RME, right by you. If you grow up in a small town in this part of the world, you basically learn how to curl real young. The kids and, and you know, even adults, they didn't have a place to go because so many facilities were, were closed. So people started gravitating to a rink and coming out and skating, curling. It became a place to come every weekend for so many families. You would see upwards of 70 people coming and going you know, on, on a given Saturday or Sunday. I think it means a huge amount to so many people. It's an opportunity for friends, family, everybody to get together, have some fun. At Viterra, we believe in the power of connection. Our world-leading agriculture network connects producers and consumers to supply top quality food ingredients each and every day. Our team takes great pride in working closely with farmers to help feed the world. It's something we've been doing for over 100 years. And as an industry leader, we're dedicated to playing a critical role in meeting the needs of a growing world. Because together, we're stronger and achieve more. Welcome back to the Access Event Center in Morden, Manitoba, the home of the 2024 Manitoba Scotties Tournament of Hearts, presented by RME. Back at center ice, one sheet of ice in the three being used today for the semifinal. The same sheet will be used for the final, of course. An unforced error for Kate Cameron. A hit and roll off. Scores only a single, an opportunity for two to tie the game. Beth Peterson now 
with a 4-3 lead and with last rock. Uncharacteristic, Norm, that hit and roll out. Yeah, and then uh, Kate went down that one I observed a little faster than usual. She's, she has a tremendous amount of confidence, but uh, sometimes maybe taking that extra second or two to take a, a breath when you're in the hack might serve her really well. There's no question right from the release that there was concern on that one and uh, we'd get a call for Taylor try to get the curl on the rock stick, but no. So now we have uh, first stone by Cameron, tight center guard, second one by Cameron, a long center guard. Peterson's first stone into the rings in the back, 12 foot. So she's going to go around those two center guards. Okay, a little snug. Okay, top eight. Mine's tight. Really got to go. All right, Cat. Got to go, Cat. Got to go, Cat. Hard, Cat. Hard. Hard. For the first time this game, Peterson plays with the lead and last rock. Good, good good. Good sweet cat. Right around to bite the top of the 12 foot or 4 foot, almost rub that tight center guard. It's um, totally buried for sure from two long red guards in front of it. So the Peterson team, in my observation so far in the first five ends of this game, have had just a little more precision on their draw shots. And. Uh, I think we see the results on the board. There's uh, with them having a lead going into the sixth. Cameron trying to go around all of these rocks into the four. Slides deep. It is shot rock. But behind all of these and Beth Peterson will peel off the top guard. I have a couple of updates from other events going on across Canada in the Scotties in BC. We got Clancy Grandy in the finals, uh, which was known yesterday. She's playing Corinne Brown for the second time in the playoffs. And um, Krista McCarville is uh, under full control of her game in Northern Ontario to represent Northern Ontario. And an interesting thing from the men's in uh, Ontario is we got uh, the Glen Howard team with uh, Scott skipping. They just have the three players, and they will be uh, there waiting the, in the finals. They'll be in the finals to uh, represent Ontario. But uh, last night I watched a bit of a game that they had with John Epping, and uh, they had full control of that game the entire entire time. So there's uh, excitement going on and both Scotties and, uh, and the men's, the Briar, in uh, various parts of the country. And I think that Sturmey's in the final in Alberta as well. Sturmey and uh, Selena Gray Withers is, uh, I, think they're, I think they're playing each other right now. I'm not sure whether that's the final game or not. You can make it, Y3, or you can rip. Hmm. So it's like out in the boonies. It's putting a lot of pressure on them if they do hit. So we're going to wrap. And then we should be able to see. Mm. I think I like this first. It's only your rocks. You got it. Only meaning simply in context of time, not in time <laughs> in context of importance. It's, uh, but it's early, right. early stages. Clean. Yep, 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 gotta go. Cameron has replaced the high center go. guard and Dirksen removes it. That's one, time, one thing we sort of some, forget sometimes watching these games at this level. Every shot is important and uh, <laughs> you don't want to take any, you don't want to take your foot off the gas or break your concentration on anything because uh, some things, sometimes a shot missed in the early part of the end is the one that comes back to haunt you later on. No, 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 no. Megan Walters asked Where? to replace that high guard. Max line. Line's great. Okay, 
Tay, you gotta cross it. You gotta cross the line. You gotta cross the line. Okay, well then, if you're deeper, it's all there. For the Sit. Great. Good job. Seven four. <coughs> <coughs> With a bit more angle now, that rock crossed tighter to the center line and a little closer in, so there is a possibility of peeling off both guards now. Oh. Kelsey Rock. Get get. She'll get the high one. and might really now nice. look at coming back to the one at the back of the forefoot. Nine and a half. It's over buried, but that's super high. Yeah. Do you want to call time out? Kind of pivotal. Do we want to call a time just to see? I think if you rip, she's making it good and I'm throwing against some. Yeah. But I guess if we do this and she makes it good, and I'm she makes it good, we've got stuff. two guards. <laughs> do we just draw? Uh, I don't like that. Good. So good. a little conversation. Okay. Huh? Some yeah. point in time, they may decide to make Doesn't, the okay, hell, guards fine. Time out call, yeah. but um, that soft weight when I threw here was that hacker? That was good bump. Watching Coach Kyle Kerr's here a little bit, and uh, he's wondering about it. But uh, I think they're going to make the uh, the tap kind of weight to uh, move that rock out of the back of the forefoot and roll, please. so that there isn't backing Close, for Cameron to draw please. to. Yep. Yep. Okay. Yep. 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 Does exactly that. We saw in the fourth, uh, both teams uh, completely willing to pay play in the four-foot circle. Some wonderful shots made in the four-foot on, on that fourth end. Back button around yellow. So far in this game, Kelsey Rock has been making a number of critical shots. I know on the last end she had two rocks that uh, she just uh, hit and rolled out uh, and just missed the double twice in a row. But other than that, every other shot she's thrown has been difficult and she's made them right on. I'll give you a little less kick. I've been a little hard. So the question now for the Kate Cameron team is can they make this perfect draw? Okay, back button. Back button. Broom. Close. Too Broom. deep they allow Lines great. Peterson to play to it. Close. Waiting for it to curl, but it does nope. appear to be a little nice warm. Can you try to get it right here. Sit. Leave it. I'm going to slide deep four, four. back into the eight foot. Yep. Peterson lying one. And ideally, she, ideally, she'd like to be top button uh, on the shot or even uh, fully in front of the forefoot. As long as she's fully in the forefoot. In front of the tee line, it would be a great shot. 14-4. Just fast. Let's bite, bite the blue. Yeah. Light's okay.
Beth Peterson's first stone here in the end, an opportunity to set up a couple and take a bit of control of this game. It's got to be, as she said, top four. Hard line. Just slides past that rock biting the top of the ring there, the forefoot. As long as we're like half four, hey? Yep. On Cameron to play a freeze. You probably have a rock a play, like for depth to still, as long as you're nibbling forefoot, I think we're at least second, so. Um, but lock it on, they're just like full four. And Peterson probably would have liked to have seen that stop a foot or two shorter. But nonetheless, so it's, um, seems quite too quick. it's a sitting shot Five rock, and, and I don't know if, uh, I think if Kate Cameron gets to it and moves it back enough, it might uh, end up bouncing out a little bit and give an opportunity for Peterson. No. Cameron, Cameron's ideal shot really is to freeze to the corner of it and give Peterson one, isn't it? Yeah, that's uh, they, that's what they were reviewing in the hack when uh, Kate was uh, getting ready to throw. It this still seems like, wide. Looks a little bit wide. Yeah. Curl. Set. That, that is not where she wanted it to end up. Uh, not that it's automatic by any means, but it's uh, it's definitely available to Peterson, and with a with a perfect end result, this could end up being a certainly a three. She's just across the face of the yellow enough that she's not going to make contact on the red in the back eight foot, but she can get to the nose of the red, push it straight back to count the three, as you say. And that's a very similar shot to what uh, Kelsey Rock played. On her last one, so I think it was just a little bit, a little bit over hack weight. Final stone here in the sixth end. Beth Peterson leads four three. Chance to come to the nose of this red Cameron stone. She can get to the red. Stays wide. She could end up giving up a steal of one. Worst, best case scenario, she didn't give up a steal, but got only one. It had a shot for three and a, and a control of the game, but uh, at this point does lead 5-3 after six completed ends, and we'll be back with the seventh in a moment. New at Asham, load up and go with our redesigned curling broom bag on wheels. This bag's all-terrain, heavy-duty wheels glide with ease. Its solid construction is durable and fits all your curling gear. Check out our website at asham.com. Win a chance to cheer for Team Manitoba at the Briar, for the Jets against Seattle, for the Bombers against Montreal, and support the Manitoba Curling Hall of Fame and Museum volunteers in their efforts to preserve Manitoba's curling history and celebrate the greats in Manitoba curling. Scan the QR code on your screen now for the complete prize and raffle details and to buy your tickets. Or go to fundingchange.ca slash mvcurlmuseum. RME, proud sponsor of Curl Manitoba and the Scotties Women's Provincials. With 10 locations in Manitoba, RME is your preferred Case IH equipment dealer. RME, right by you. Well, a missed opportunity for Beth Peterson, uh, probably just a little overweight on her last shot. Top back attempt, didn't curl up quite enough. Spilled the red rock out of the rings, but spilled out her own as well. Had a chance for as many as three. <laughs> Got only the single and a 5-3 lead. Norm, uh, Chairman Ernie Epp has uh, mentioned to me that uh, uh, they're delighted to be able to report locally that they are expecting a full house this afternoon for the final game. Caitlin Laws awaits the winner of this game. And uh, part of the reason for making a point of saying that is that uh, while we know that we've got people far and wide watching this live stream, we also know that we've got people reasonably uh, 
local who uh, may be watching and may have been thinking about planning to come for the final game. So Ernie has indicated that they uh, appreciate the, the thought, but uh, if you aren't one of the folks who has uh, uh, one of the pre-sold tickets for the afternoon game, you might just not make it into the, room, uh, the arena. So uh, approach that idea with caution. But that's, uh, frankly, from the other side, really great news for the local host committee, isn't it? Yes, that is good news, and, uh, and I'm, I'm glad, actually, that they are giving the, asked you to uh, make the announcement. Uh, I got caught a few years ago deciding to drive out for Winnipeg to see a game at uh, Winkler and got stopped at the door because of exactly that. There, It's uh, not necessarily, it is capacity of the building, and... Uh, and, what, and there's fire code regulations about how many people are allowed, and uh, the local the host committee's got to monitor that very carefully. So just that word of caution, if you're in Winnipeg or the southern Manitoba area and we're thinking of coming for the, the final this afternoon to watch Caitlin Law's uh, uh, pre-sale has uh, got the arena full. One of the few times uh, we've actually seen the no tech rule uh, have to be implemented. Okay, just copy. That's okay. So in that situation, did uh, Beth Peterson, I know I'm supposed to be the person that has this information <laughs> in my head, but you watch more than this and more familiar with the rules. Was she uh, required to replace the rock or could she have left it? No. Uh, is she given the option? It is my understanding that the... Uh, the offended against team uh, has the prerogative. Yeah. We're almost to it. We're almost to it. But in this instance, obviously, to their advantage to move their own guard back to the center line, giving them a chance to come around their own stone and to lie to in the forfeit circle. Yeah, and plus it, it removes the red rock from play, which down the road could be one that you raise back or it could in fact be a counter at some point so it's eliminated. You got it bud. The attempt now will be to run this yellow through and remove a couple of stones from the center. does exactly that, clears them all, leaves one red center guard. So there's an example where one shot takes care of the three other great shots that the Peterson team had made this end. Last of the second stones for the Peterson team. So a little conversation, but in the end, the decision is to run the red through. They yep. do want to get to the nose of the red, so it jams it right in. Exactly like that, leaves it in the forefoot. Not behind cover, Peterson will try to hit and roll behind. 
Just not able to get the roll. Cameron will try. curl this one to get the inside roll as well. More, more, more. Ah, sorry. I got a 12. She just had a max set. Yeah, I was thinking 11. Great. Okay. That was 10 and a half. <clears throat> or like 10. Oh, it was. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. several consecutive attempts to hit this rock and roll under the center guard have resulted in a series of nose hits. Just leaned it that way but it still sits at the center line, but now Peterson says we'll hit and roll wide so that the guard doesn't come into play. Just 11, all the way. Here yeah, in the course of the last uh, three, four shots, they've, they've all been trying to get the inside roll, managed uh, only to move it over about four inches or so. So just have it. They're, they're needing to be cautious around that red guard. Clean! Yep! Whoa! 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 Curl! Clean! 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 We need to curl now yep. to get enough contact not to roll out of the rings. does stay biter over in the edge. The question now for Kate Cameron, will she go behind the center guard? My gut is the draw. Okay, let's do it. Right. I think two here is still pretty big. Both of these teams are uh, really do uh, uh, discuss can, these shots, so it, the listening really audience here, is uh, getting good insights into the game and how they're thinking for each one. If I really tighten it up. 10-5 right there. But along, uh, along the line of uh, the description of each shot, they've used some terminology on lately that I haven't heard exactly that's used in the same way. Such as I've heard it in the boonies, <laughs> dance with that, and a hair smoother in the last uh, two ends, and I'm having to figure out exactly what each one of those means. <laughs> now, in my previous days, I might have referred to this particular rock out on the wide outside is out in the boonies. Uh, earlier on it was for a rock that was just a, a long guard. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're okay. Clean. So that's a Kate Cameron hit. Clean. Clean. Good. And she is going to hit and stay right there. Peterson now can try the, the big roll behind the center guard as long as she makes contact with the red. If she doesn't get the roll, so be it. But if she does, it's a, a good opportunity to force a point just so long as she makes contact with the red. Yep. 
looks like a good throw from my perspective. Yeah! Yeah, the main objector was get rid of it. And so Cameron will throw through blank the end. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so Cameron here uh, definitely first. is going to blank the end, but it's interesting <laughs> to see where she's chosen to throw the throw this particular shot. So there's always a purpose at, the, at this level of curling, even though it's just not throwing it through the house. It's always a purpose behind every every rock you throw. And she is throwing the out turn down this that, she side of the eight foot circle. And she's watching it go every inch of the way. So a blanked. Seventh end. Good. Peterson leads Cameron 5-3 in our semifinal game at Manitoba Scotties. We'll be back with end number eight in a moment. Today's sponsor, PharmaSave, official pharmacy of Curl Manitoba. At Viterra, we believe in the power of connection. Our world-leading agriculture network connects producers and consumers to supply top quality food ingredients each and every day. Our team takes great pride in working closely with farmers to help feed the world. It's something we've been doing for over 100 years. And as an industry leader, we're dedicated to playing a critical role in meeting the needs of a growing world. Because together, we're stronger and achieve more. We hope you're enjoying this Manitoba Championship Curling, brought to you by Seagram's VO, integrity, tradition, and craftsmanship. From small towns to big cities, Chicken Chef is comfort food you can count on. We're your made in Manitoba chicken choice, and pizza choice, and salad choice, and so, so, so much more. Chicken Chef, bring your appetite. We'll take care of the rest. Five three, Peterson over Cameron. Semi-final, Manitoba Scotty's Tournament of Hearts, presented by RME. First Peterson Stone right in the forfeit circle. Corner guard by Cameron. As I pointed out earlier, this exact strategy turned into a two-point score twice. Could have been a third one. Two point score for the team that did not go to the forefoot. Don't know what that says exactly. But it did happen. Yellow Peterson Stone in the forefoot. Melissa Gordon Kurz is asked to play a tight center guard. This rock curl to the center line. Does not appear to be touching the center line, so if we get accidental contact on this one, it won't go back. Back eight. This is minimum. Kenzie Elias, second Back shot here of the eight. Peterson now will play at the wide open red stone it contacted yellow rolled fully open on this back across the center line so Catherine Dirksen can play at it.
Just a little bit of roll, not enough to roll under that. They were doing the same thing. Hawk, try to get as low as you can. 12-5, Tay. You got her. So Taylor McDonald is asked to play that same tap weight as low as you can, try to get past that center guard and then curl to the nose of the yellow stone, push it back into the back eight foot. She won't get to the nose, she's going to hit and roll away. I mean, it's always open, but yeah, but if you don't make it, they make it. It's just if you do this, they're making that double and they're sitting one no man's land. I like the draw, Beth. Yeah, I do too. Yeah, take it. Full eight. So rather than play the hit and roll and risk setting up a double for Cameron to play, Peterson is going to play the draw behind that center guard. Catherine Dirksen's second stone here on this eighth end. Always got to curl. Top eight. Okay, got to be full eight, two seconds. Where are we here? We're top eight, full top eight. We're not even close to line. You got to go more. You got to go more. Top four. Um, Yes, you gotta go, you gotta go, you gotta go, you gotta go, you gotta go. Okay, hey. Did finally bury, but deeper than they wanted to be. I got a 12 6 on you. I think it'll, it will go in there. This is just a hair less. Yeah, like you can. Taylor McDonald now, her second stone here in the eighth, and. Uh, as you heard Kate Cameron say, she believes that this lightweight hit can curl in past that center guard to the nose of that shot stone. Strong curl here. But does get just past the guard to the nose. And so as Kate Cameron said to Taylor, it will go here, and it did. That was very close to that front guard. Same thing? Yeah. Oh, it's, you can run it's that. basically dead buried. And I don't think there's any way of getting it out with the... Uh, yeah, I'd like to be... I'd like to push it out of the four. Let's hear what they got to say first. Four. It's, yeah, half in. Okay. Yeah, it's a bump of the Yeah, it's like dead buried. Or you can run it, Kel. Yeah, I don't mind that either. Open They're playing way. here, probably. But yeah, it'll be maybe open. Hopefully, can play a double. Do you want to call time? What do you like? Uh, I'm pretty torn. I don't think that's good. No. Time out? Do you like a time, Beth? Yeah. Okay. Time out. So they will take their first time out. <coughs> the options. Norm appear to be to uh, uh, run the yellow one corner ways, try to rip the uh, red out of the edge of the tall uh, eight right? foot What's and that? just leave it clear. Fine. Yeah. Try to go around and play a tap or play the Freeze. hit on the red on the outside yeah. and roll back to the button. Don't mind that either. So this, is, this is good if you make it. This is good if mess. you make it. It's just tough. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I agree. If it's bad. To freeze? Freeze, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think agreed. it's really hard to come around with the intern tap and move the red out of the house. Yeah, yeah. But on the other hand, if you I froze to it, it would also it make better. it uh, yeah, right difficult for Cameron to get any more than two. Hole, and then you can pick up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Agreed. Okay. Play it smart. Like okay. Let's make it, Kelsey. Yeah. 
So it looks like they will play the draw, freeze to the red rock in the top of the forefoot. Yeah, I think that's... Uh, you see my broom? the circumstances, that's the best call. Kelsey Rocks for Stone here in the eighth. Top four is good. Line's good. No bounce on this line. No bounce no. on this line. Stay close, Melissa. Right on it. Still room, still room, still room, still room. Line's good. Line's good, yep. Right to it. Right to it, right to it. Great talk, Kels. We got to there and moved it a rock, stayed high. Okay. Yeah, it's just a lot of risk if we rock if we rock now, because I think they can make a move on this pretty easy. Do you like that, Meg? Like even yeah. if you do this, like it, it could just be nice for them to smack it anywhere. Okay. I think try to stay half high. So hit three quarters kind of thing. Yeah. Two thirds. Just back four weight, yeah. Max. I'd rather you freeze than ever over top this. Yeah. Four or five. Yeah. Okay. T line. Okay, and we got great insights into the different options and uh, strategy behind the shot. Wants to get uh, okay, high side tap Close. on the yellow and push the Close. red back far enough that nope, uh, hitting nope, red onto yellow can't wouldn't push ever. it onto the red in the back of the forefoot. No, nope, line's you're, not good. You're Kens. getting there. Kens, Kens. Okay, keep going. Kate, for speed two, go. Line's great, go straight. Straight, straight, go, go. Great. Did Hard not one. get yep. the separation she wanted with that red rock well, in the forefoot. You can make this if you want. This goes. Yep. And you're buried behind. That. This isn't going anywhere, but. One, two, maybe three. Okay, I like it if you like it. I don't see much else. A thin half. Yeah. Well, how much am I hitting? Like, you're, it's. There. Okay. Okay, that's real thin. <laughs> it is real thin. Okay. Just calling double kill on the, the come off that rock, rock on the center line, take the one out of the edge of the eight foot, at the same time take the one out of the back of the, that's in the four foot. Kelsey Rock. Yep. Gonna... Whoa, whoa! Yellow will lie two. Another high quality shot from Kelsey Rock. And those are, uh, are not easy to we make. We could bring this in too. We could do this. This probably jams though. I think we just draw for one. I don't know how they get that out. Full top four. Yeah. Megan Walters, second stone really? here in the eighth. Needs to be full top More four, right as you now. heard Kate say. Always needs to curl. Always needs to curl. Go. Mine's getting okay. You gotta go still to here. Go. You gotta be shot too. Go, speed. Go. Go. Hard. Hard. Okay. Maybe second. Yeah, definitely second. Throw a lot of weight at it though. Like it's overburied. 
sure if I just go here. Yep. I just worry through here. She can something. play the slash. Yeah, that's right. Yep. I think that's the call. Yep. Freeze and then we can freeze again. Yep, we got it. They can guard the hole. Uh, I don't know what they have. I don't know what they have there. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, on this occasion, okay. coming behind the button. Four. Wants to get totally buried. Can be like full back four. Kels, I could even take more and be open full back four. Yep. I like it. Same path. Remembering that okay, success okay. here is lines okay. forcing Cameron to take oh, a single okay. point. Just make sure you bite the four. Lines good, just back four. Yeah, it's whoa. Curling big. Whoa, 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 Gotta whoa. stay in the blue. No, ah. gotta sit. Sit, baby. Sit. It's gonna slide deep. Okay. Ah. Through the forefoot, through the eight foot stops on that stopper at the back. I feel like that ran a lot. Yeah, then. I do. I think it goes right in. Yeah. It's going to clip this. Yeah. Do I have to throw some mustard in it? I think you do. Some mustard. Uh -huh. Almost on the nose, yeah. but three quarters will still yeah. spill, right? Mm -hmm. Kate's looked at this shot this. two or three yeah, times during this, and she's mm -hmm. wanted to play it. Have to do it anyways, yeah. If this doesn't go away. I like it. Do you like, like a nine? Yeah. Uh, yeah. What were you saying? I was saying firm. Because like, we got to get some spin on yeah. this, is my thought. Okay. I'm good with firm. Then we have room to hit seven eighths yeah. low, probably. I think middle of the rock. What do you think? I like it. There's a chance for making yeah. the triple on this shot. Just follow that red under. Yep. Firm. Uh, yeah, I don't think I can really nose. It's pretty freaking cute to the guard. So, in a perfect world, I think nose is the better roll. But just, yes, firm. I think it's just going to stay there. <laughs> Oh, turn hit underway. Yep. Oh, yep. Yep. Yes. 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 Contacts the guards. I didn't see that coming. Uh, there was enough room to get through there, and uh, Kate's release seemed to be really good. They didn't uh, ask for the sweeping early, so I don't know if it picked something or exactly what happened. Okay. Just bite the four. Peterson lies one, biting the forefoot on the right-hand side of that ball. Long shot, left-hand side of the overhead. She wants to be biting the forefoot. tuck around that red in the front of the eight foot. Question is whether there's a run on the red. Even if she does make it perfectly, it'll only be for, it could be for two. Yeah, it's, it's a possibility for two. Mm -hmm. What do you see, Tess? Yeah, this, this is a hard one though, this way. Yeah. That's what I'm seeing. Do you like a 10? Yep. There is a fine line between like using that though, mm -hmm. right? So I I'm think just half a rock? Not it, yeah. Yep, yeah, right there. Here more. Mm -hmm. 
So Kate Cameron faces two, one Ten. cornered behind her red rock on the center Six. line, one biting the edge of the forefoot. She'll pay a raise. Final stone of the eighth. Whoa. Peterson no. leads Cameron 5 Taylor. 3. Taylor. Close. Kay. And it is. The raise hit 4 1. Cameron trails 5 4. As we go to the ninth end, Peterson over Cameron. We'll have the ninth in just a moment. Original 16. Celebrate things done well. At McMunn and Yates, we've always believed that good neighbors make for better communities. McMunn and Yates has everything you need for your next project right at your fingertips. And McMunnandYates.com will always be there, ready to help. Curl Manitoba is proudly sponsored by Manitoba Pork. Good for me, good for Manitoba. Eat. Meet. Stay. Play! Canad Inn's destination centers are your home for hospitality, with 10 locations in Manitoba and one in North Dakota, featuring the finest in accommodations, food and beverage, entertainment, banquet and conference facilities, and so much more. For the best service and best value, your only stop is Canad Inn's. Call today at one 33 canad or visit us right now at canadins.com. Eight ends complete in the semifinal of the Manitoba Scotties Tournament of Hearts presented by RME. Beth Peterson leads Kate Cameron 5-4. Cameron has put her first stone just a couple of feet in front of the rings, touching the center line. Cameron will go, or Peterson will go wide. Good. Cameron will play a second guard. Okay, a little more lateral. You got max line. <laughs> it's always curl. Yeah. Big set. Slow down a bit. Whenever you can. It's trying. Whenever you can. Go, grab it, grab it. Go, 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 go. More, 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 more. More, more. Whoa. Wow, yeah. those are like perfect. Good <laughs> <laughs> shit, I thought we were hogging back. Both of them just <laughs> touching the center line. You got it. Peterson will go around the two of them. Okay, we're there right now. Lots of girls. Yeah, don't want to at all. Just copy. I think we're okay. Just got a curl. There it goes. All you. Mine's straight. Mine's good. Mine's good. Yep, you can go. Yep. 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 Fully. 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 Good camera. Good touch. And with that rock on the center line in the eight foot circle, Kate Cameron's going to go around. Are we cornering or coming right around? Do you like that or we lock one for one? Whatever you like. Probably, because they're just going to rip a few anyways. Okay. Half eight foot. But then changed her mind. Okay, got her. We'll try to follow that. Yeah. Melissa Gordon Kerr's shot. With a Taylor McDonald draw just to the center line in front of that red or yellow stone. Thought that's close. It's okay. Puppy. Gotta lock it on. Line's great. Look up. Will puppy? It will curl. 
starting to move now, just as it gets past the logo. Shot. Five, five. And as anticipated, uh, Peterson goes up to the front to start ripping guards. But uh, kind of a key point in the sweep call there from Kate Cameron. She said it will curl. Just you, you've got to know that it's going to do it, nice, okay. and believe that it's going to do it. But you can't wait for it to happen. The one guard removed to replace that guard. I like that. I don't think so. Line's nice. Max line of anything. Take a look. It's running. Here, keeper. Make fun. Nice. We're close. Slow knife. We're close. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. You got it. You're perfect. Great. Okay. Nice. Nice pair. 8-8. Eight, eight. Second guard that's uh, just got a foot or so over the hog line, and that was yeah. rare. It's essentially requires the same level of skill as it does to draw the button. Clean. Catherine yep. Dirksen's yep. peel. First of third stones, Megan Walter. I think she'll play, be playing the guard this time too, but uh, I would suspect that the next uh, it's running. The next shot that Megan Walter throws will be the come round. No, 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 no. You're good, buddy. You got at least a broom. Good. I just. Yeah. yeah, you're good. Take it. Hey. Yeah, make sure one. She'd like to see both red rocks leave this time, but just we're happy with just one. And as Norm Magnuson predicted, this is the time when she'll go around. If this gets to the button, it should be 100% buried. It's a little short to me. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, let's try to line it up. Curl. Curl. More, curl. more, 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 more. Sneaky. Sneaky. So they were able to change Everybody gears on that one when they realized it was light. My cat. We'll just watch it. This could have some of the drag effect. This one might uh, be interesting to see where it actually hits. So I think they're thinking the back red will go just past this uh, outside yellow, but I'm thinking it's going to come pretty close to hitting the top ones. No, they they had it figured out. I didn't. That's good. Great shot. Well, that's where uh, that's where Peterson projected it to go. She might have hoped that it got totally out of the house, but uh, like the force here isn't bad, no. right? We're not dead if we force. <laughs> I think that might be the call, Meg. Okay, let's do that then. Right, and then they probably. The thing in this, you like it? 
I like it. 10-5. Yeah, you will get more curl over here. No, okay, no. you got shit ton. Yeah, they are. I think I'd rather roll big them. and be deep, right? Then give him just a roll under. The option for Cameron was to try that come around again, but We're this is also a matter so of uh, trying to than throwing yeah. it all in the middle. make sure that Cameron doesn't, or make sure that Peterson doesn't end up with three, so getting rid of this rock, getting the roll behind the comps is the same thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, buddy. As, as Kate Cameron acknowledged, forcing Peterson to one is not end of the world for the Cameron team. Giving up a couple might be. Kate Cameron's first stone here in the ninth. Playing a roll off a center shot, a second shot rock, but is underthrown and will just touch it. It does touch it out of the rings. It's just so fresh over there. Back here is probably pretty good. Yep. You got it back. It's pretty good here, hey? Yeah, it's nice. Melissa slid good. Okay. Yeah. She's got to bite the eight. You can be behind the eight. She'll try to replace that rock. She'll get to the at least eight foot. Yeah. Just what I threw. Just last rock. The advantage so, of that rock being as deep really as it is, Norm, uh, it appears to be still second shot, but uh, mm -hmm. it would have to be Full a very forward. perfect roll to okay. roll off of that and Top be buried behind uh, on, in the eight foot. Exactly. And I think it is, it, it is second shot, right? So she can't. Can uh, uh, I think I heard that so reference. Yeah. That's what it looks like. It looks like Meg was just safe on hers. I think the same weight I've been giving you is going to be perfect. Cameron's final here in the ninth okay. end. Lots of room. Peterson nice leads 5-4 with last rock. Okay. Here's where it's going really start to curl. Well, she does stop in the forefoot for shot stone but okay. has left it wide open. It, it looked to me that she threw it pretty well on the line and, and that she intended to, but it uh, stayed out there a long time. 11. Right Hit, stay in the eight foot for two, probably three. Peterson with second chance of the game to score a three. Easy, clean. Well, she's definitely making clean. contact. I'm not sure if she's got the well, nose or not. Clean. Cat. 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 Clean. Clean. Cat. 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 Clean. Good. Clean. And she does make that nose hit. So it's definitely a two. Is it a three? In fact, it's Enough that uh, the Cameron team knows they're not going to score. So it was a three. It is an 
eight four score after nine and an eight four final score no point in playing another end and the Cameron team has uh, given the Peterson team uh, a little extra rest time before they come back on the ice to play the Caitlin Laws team in the final game. Norm, uh, a bit of a surprise end there that happened pretty abruptly. Yes, I did. And uh, um, during the course of the game, Kelsey Rock was really the, the most steady player out there for the Peterson team. And Beth herself made several great shots. But uh, uncharacteristically, uh, Megan Walter and uh, Kate just didn't seem to have their A game today. And they needed it because the Peterson team very much did. So it's an 8-4 final score. Beth Peterson and her team will advance against Caitlin Laws, the number one seed, the number four CTRS team. And uh, they will play that final game here in Morton at 2 o'clock this afternoon. And we'll be with you then. Please be with us. New at Asham, load up and go with our redesigned curling broom bag on wheels. This bag's all-terrain heavy-duty wheels glide with ease. Its solid construction is durable and fits all your curling gear. Check out our website at asham.com. Thank you for joining us for this Manitoba Championship Draw, brought to you by Seagram's 83, Manitoba's number one whiskey. Eat. Meet. Stay. Canad Inn's destination centers are your home for hospitality, with 10 locations in Manitoba and one in North Dakota, featuring the finest in accommodations, food and beverage, entertainment, banquet and conference facilities, and so much more. For the best service and best value, your only stop is Canad Inn's. Call today at 1-888-33-CANAD or visit us right now at canadins.com. Today's sponsor, Sunrise Credit Union building a brighter future together. Where can you find handmade pizza, classic burgers, scrumptious salads, the finest Manitoba sourced fried chicken, and so, so, so much more. Chicken Chef, bring your appetite. We'll take care of the rest. Win a chance to cheer for Team Manitoba at the Briar, for the Jets against Seattle, for the Bombers against Montreal, and support the Manitoba Curling Hall of Fame and Museum volunteers in their efforts to preserve Manitoba's curling history and celebrate the greats in Manitoba curling. Scan the QR code on your screen now for the complete prize and raffle details and to buy your tickets. Or go to fundingchange.ca slash mbcurlmuseum. At McMunn and Yates, we've always believed that good neighbors make for better communities. McMunn and Yates has everything you need for your next project right at your fingertips. And McMunnandYates.com will always be there, ready to help. Today's sponsor, Pharmasave, official pharmacy of Curl Manitoba. <laughs> Why not? Just watch. Why not? Keep scrolling, eyes lie. Why not? As a broadcaster and Hall of Fame football player, I'm constantly in the lab of life. For 15 years, my friends at Knock Auto Corp have been pioneers as well. Why not? Introducing Winnipeg Car Lab. Custom car wraps, graphics, and auto Why services. Not? Winnipeg. Why not get in the lab? Curl Manitoba is proudly sponsored by Manitoba Pork. Good for me, good for Manitoba. Original 16. Celebrate things done well. At PharmaSave, we see you and we care for prescriptions for common conditions, expert health advice, or support for life's little mishaps. Come talk to your PharmaSave pharmacist. Live well with PharmaSave. RME, proud sponsor of Curl Manitoba and the Scotties Women's Provincials. With 10 locations in Manitoba, RME is your preferred Case IH equipment dealer. RME, right by you.
If you grow up in a small town in this part of the world, you basically learn how to curl real young. The kids and you know, even adults, they didn't have a place to go and get so many facilities were, were closed. So people started gravitating to a rink and coming out and skating, curling. It became a place to come every weekend for so many families. We would see upwards of 70 people coming and going you know, on, on a given Saturday or Sunday. I think it means a huge amount to so many people. It's an opportunity for friends, family, everybody to get together, have some fun. At Viterra, we believe in the power of connection. Our world-leading agriculture network connects producers and consumers to supply top quality food ingredients each and every day. Our team takes great pride in working closely with farmers to help feed the world. It's something we've been doing for over 100 years. And as an industry leader, we're dedicated to playing a critical role in meeting the needs of a growing world. Because together, we're stronger and achieve more.